So I may not be a rock hound, but I think I may be a water hound. I'm here at Coyote Creek State Park in New Mexico, and I want to tell you all about it. So welcome back to Rome Town Girl Does the State Parks of New Mexico. And some of you probably get that joke. <laughs> I am finally making a video of a park at the park. And water. I'm so happy. Anyway, I'm here at Coyote Creek. And I am far away from everything. And it is fantastic. I showed up as always with at least two weeks worth of all the provisions I'll need because I'm doing this in a boondocking style so that I don't have to pay anything extra to stay here. And I actually in this particular case am staying in the overflow parking. And the reason I chose to do that is that none of the regular sites are in earshot or eyeshot of the water. And you know me, I love to be where I can look out my window and see pretty things and I want to see the water. And when I open my door or open my windows, I want to hear the rushing water. Listen. It's like music for my soul. How about you? So I came here from Las Vegas, New Mexico, which is a fabulous town. I really, really liked it. I'll tell you more about that one in the Story Lake State Park video. But I will tell you I'm about an hour away. I, I always like to tell you exactly. I'll put it on the screen how many miles it is from Las Vegas to here. So I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere, which is a little bit unfortunate for me in this particular case, because when I first rolled up and drove around to check out all the sites, my power steering went out. So I did my best to get myself into a site. I'm in the overflow parking. I am facing the wrong way for the tow truck to come rescue me and I'm gonna have to deal with that. I will do a video on how well I have gotten at managing car issues on the road because I really think I have become a veteran at it and I have a lot of good tips and tricks to share with you. So look out for that video. But anyway, let's get back to Coyote Creek. Coyote Creek is absolutely lovely and the drive here from Las Vegas, New Mexico, just, oh, my heart was singing. It reminded me of uh, going to my beloved Big Bear in California. Because there's a point at which, you know, I I'm driving and you hit that tree line and you're like, oh, I'm in the mountains. I mean, look, look, it's just, oh, this has been my most favorite place visually that I have been so far because I'm a forest girl and I'm in the forest. And so I am so happy. <laughs> Um, although Rio Doso was really nice too. So, uh, I might have to retract that statement. Anyway, so Coyote Creek is another one of their smaller parks. Not a lot of sites. There is a sort of a group area. That's where all their electrical sites are. There's a couple little enclaves where like three or four RVs can, um, you know, parks. So you're kind of in close proximity. I'm at the far end of the park and there is, I think, two sites over here and they're kind of cute remember i was telling you about the developed sites developed and primitive are similar the distinction being that a developed site will often have a uh, protected little shelter area and a lot of times with a picnic table and the ones here aren't they cute they they look like little cabins or little hunting blinds i they're adorable uh, they don't have a fancy visitor center like the other parks do but they they do have a little office area where you can go they've got the showers and they've got the um like the little library area you can go over there for wi-fi i just chose to sort of be off the grid while i'm here there's also morphe lake state park but they're in the process of doing renovation so couldn't go there so coyote creek's really small this is the road to angel fire the 434. One entrance, you come in, and if you go straight, 
that is the group area it's also where all the electrical sites are and they all kind of go in a in a row they all go in a row Ooh, look at my finger right there okay then the first road you come to on your right that is an enclave with two sites and they say you have to be 18 feet or shorter if you go a little bit further uh, you go up a road and again you've got a couple like four sites four sites right here I like checking out now you can't go you come up how do I want to do this you come up here to the what why if you go straight there's a service road they say no no that's where the Rangers keep their stuff but there's these three sites right here that's one of the areas I'd like to try next uh, because you've got a view of the meadow over here and then there's just a big open grass area right here okay but where I've been going and you guys might recognize is I cross this little bridge and I've gone to overflow parking because see you get to be right on the water right there here's the dump station you see me up there and this site up at the very top is nice it's somewhat private the only problem is that oh, I'm sorry here is that you get to wave and say hello every time somebody comes over to dump then you can go up this dirt road and you really kind of have to be a truck or a small camper and that's where the the someone saw mountain lion tracks and it's definitely more quiet and uh, secluded up there that's this area the only thing is that um, right now it's closed for renovations they have water they have a dump when you uh, are over here by the main entrance and the electric sites they've got showers and they've also got um, an office that has Wi-Fi that's the lay of the land of Coyote Creek it just started raining I'm a quarter mile from the entrance I just wanted to show you look how pretty this is I'm up in the treetops Coyote State Park all right Here's hoping they got a spot for me. I've arrived. The lady said I arrived. Okay. This is a cute little opening, don't you think? Coyote Creek. All right. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> we'll see if we get to stay. So you guys saw me getting towed out of here. <laughs> now I'm driving in. This is interesting. There is not a camp host to be seen. Usually they're everywhere and they accost you as soon as you pull in. Interesting. Where's everybody? And this is another little area. We have little little alcoves up here. Each one has like three or four, three or four little little areas. There's me way off there in the distance, all by my lonesome, which I kind of like. Oh, I forgot to tell you, bears. <laughs> There's at least one female bear that lives on the property. I didn't see her, but her but she is here and all the trash cans are bears one of my neighbors said they went for a walk and saw a mountain lion paw print so there are some primitive campsites up a dirt road it looks very intriguing but not intriguing enough to encounter a mountain lion so I didn't bother with that this is where walk okay. So this is the road where my neighbor said he saw the mountain lion tracks. Just wanted to show you. I'm not willing to go up here just because no one else is up here. And who knows? 
Might be a good place for the bear that lives here. I haven't heard or seen coyotes, but I suppose there could be up here. And most of all, I don't want to encounter a mountain lion. But just showing you. So you can camp down there or camp up there. All right, come on, let's go back. Okay, I'm gonna be a little judgy here. At first, I was gonna take a picture to show you. See, people leave their chairs and carpets to hold a spot, but who leaves their dog? I don't care if you went to the dump and never left the park. I would never just leave my dog sitting here all day. I see a pillow, but no water. That's terrible. Sorry. I do not, I, I do not agree with what this person has done. That is not right. <laughs> is it cold outside? <laughs> Those are some cold doggies. Are you bored with the whole thing? Are you bored with the whole thing? Hey, gorgeous girl. This is my little Shelby Shelb. That's my handsome boy, Wesley. You're all curled up in a little ball. So cute. Shelbs, you're adorable. That is adorable. What you think, Wesley? We're having a serious windstorm here, huh? Wesley doesn't like loud noises. So this is freaks him out. having a major wind and snowstorm here. I don't know if you can see, the snow is blowing every which way. There is no consistent direction of the wind. For the most part, we seem to be getting it from the back. So at least it's going over us instead of hitting us crossways, which would be crazy. Sorry for the dirty window. I want to show you one of these big uh, gusts. You can see it, it comes down this center and uh, I can see a few seconds before it hits. I'll try to capture one for you. Oh, look, look. Okay, see how crazy it's going in the center there? All right, here we go. All right, here we go. This one looks really good. Oh, look at that one. Look at how much everybody's going crazy. That's serious. God. I don't know what is up with New Mexico and it's a wind situation. Look at this. Can you see the snow? really coming down. This is one crazy place. Looks like rain, but it's snow. Let me wrap this up because I pretty much have told you the basics of my experience here at Coyote Creek. So if you like to fish, this is absolutely a place to come. If you like beautiful scenery and trees, it's just lovely here. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this park probably a 7. Oh, even though it had water and it's beautiful. And I probably wouldn't come back here again. And that's really because I didn't like all the hubbub. I want to pretend like I'm alone. And I really didn't have that experience here. So, a little lower. I mean, I would absolutely use this as a layover park but I wouldn't come I wouldn't come back here to stay for a long time oh I forgot to tell you um, when you come from Las Vegas you pass through the town of Mora and I don't know with my car issues I'm gonna have to figure out I really want to go back to Mora um, 
It had a, a, ta a restaurant that has brisket. I have been craving brisket. And on my way in, there was an alpaca farm and they had a gift shop and tours and I really wanna go back to the alpaca farm. So if you come here, I highly recommend planning it so you can stop by the town of Mora and check it out and probably stop by the alpaca farm. If I get a chance to go back there and film it, I will. But right now it's just a, a unfulfilled destination that I need to see. When they come to get me and tow me out of here, they're towing me to the next town over, which is Angel Fire. And I don't know anything about Angel Fire except for it's 24 miles to Taos, New Mexico. So that'll be my next convenient stop that is gonna have all the Walmart and the propane and blah, 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 blah. So I hope you're enjoying this series I'm doing on the state parks of New Mexico. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you hit that bell notification, then you'll know exactly the next time I post another video. And I always like to take the opportunity to remind you that wherever you are and whatever you're doing today, don't forget to have some fun and make some memories and tell at least one other person to come check out Rome Town Girl on YouTube.